Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jay Malone, and today we're going to be talking about camera firmware. <music> If you're new to the channel, start off by hitting that subscribe button because this is the first video of a series called Photography Quick Tips, and I don't think you want to miss them. These videos are going to be quick photography tips that you can watch in just a few minutes. That way you don't have to spend forever on the computer or on your phone. And hopefully you'll come back week after week to see the new quick tip I have for you. Let's just get into it. Firmware. What is firmware? I know that some of my subscribers might not know what firmware is. Firmware is basically the software that runs your piece of hardware in an electronic device. It's pretty much like your operating system on your smartphone. Even this drone has firmware that needs to be updated. And most of your cameras will have, well maybe not this camera. This camera has firmware that needs to be updated. Your point and shoot camera has firmware that needs to be updated. Camera manufacturers release an update to the firmware from time to time, and it's best if you can stay up to date and make sure that your camera has the latest firmware. Let me know in the comments below what kind of camera that you have. Now you wanna know why you need to update your firmware. New firmware sometimes adds new features to your camera. A lot of times it fixes bugs in your camera. Sometimes it will speed up your camera. Overall, it's just best to have the latest firmware. Now, how do you check your firmware? Most usually you go into your menu settings and you'll find somewhere the firmware version that you have. Once you know what firmware version you have on your camera, then you need to go to the manufacturer's website and see if they have a new firmware release for it. Normally, you'll find a support tab on the website. From there, you'll find something like drivers, downloads, or it may say firmware. And usually at the same location you download the firmware, it'll give you a set of instructions on how to install the firmware on your device. Once you download the firmware, you normally either have to plug up your camera to the computer or else copy the firmware to a memory card and put it back into your camera. Manufacturers change up these methods, so be sure and follow the instructions for whatever kind of camera that you have. Once you have the new firmware installed, you're good to go. I normally only check my firmware version about once a year. Most normally, it's not like the firmware is getting update too often. And that's it for this first quick tip. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. I would sure appreciate it. And remember, comment below and let me know what kind of camera that you have. If you wanna see another quick tip next week, or you wanna see other videos that I upload, be sure and hit that subscribe button. Click the little bell icon next to it. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Until next time, God bless. <laughs>